can you perhaps just briefly explain to us what drove you to visit the oil uh, storage facility and what is your impression after your visit? My first impression is that it is a state-of-the-art facility. Um, I am very worried about a number of issues about it. One is the security. Um, if you have visited, or probably you don't have my experience, have visited the, the Niger Delta oil pipelines, and you know what is happening in that part of the world, you would realize that such a facility needs proper security by members of the securocrats, either the defense to really do the Navy to do double checkup on, on the security. One. Two, the other issue that is very worrisome is that there was an escalation of cost from $3.5 billion that was initiated to ending up to over $7.5 billion. And it tells the story that uh, resources went. The, 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 the reasons that are being advanced about 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 that escalation is apparently a, a a foreign currency fluctuation. But nothing can fluctuate in economic terms to cost you double the price because of fluctuation of of the currency. The other issue that is a serious problem and that needs a broader discussion is the fact that the investment is done. But are we making? value for money. When I ask about the figures, the money, how are we faring as a country now that holds 45 days of, of oil and petroleum products, I was referred to Vendu that uh, the only person who knows the, pro the profits of, or, or the revenue of, of, of Namco is the MD and the chairperson of the board. So he tells the story that we might not be at the level where we are making enough uh, money for such an investment. One thing that you must realize is the fact that uh, the oil industry in its general nature is a very highly competitive industry. You are competing with companies such as Puma, Engine, companies of whose own um, value of those companies are seven times the GDP of our own republic. So you are dealing with a very large cartel that is better organized. The question that needs to be asked by Namibians is that can we competitively compete with other players, other players in the market. And if we are not competing with them and we are not profit, profiteering from the business, what is the development agenda that we are pursuing? Mm. So these are some of questions that I will be engaging from the visiting of the very art of the art, uh, state of the art center. I'll be visiting the board of Namcor. I'll be seeing the managing director to hear from him the figures to hear from him how we are faring, for me to be able to make an informed decision as to what is it that we should do with such an, an entity such as that one. Perhaps a partial privatization could be the route, but of course we are only waiting for figures for us to make that informed decision. Mm. So what we have learned from the, from, 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 from the state-of-the-art facility is the fact that, uh, yes, it is operating, 100% operated by Namibians, a lot of women, 36% of those that are occupying important positions are women. But there is a need for us to ask the fundamental questions. Can we competitively compete with the private sector in this area? Mm. If we cannot compete, what are we going to do strategically to put a niche for Namibia to benefit and to maximize our benefits? Mm.